Hey, John here with Fulgropolis Focus. Today is August 22nd, 2014. Let's see what's in focus this week. This week's focus, we take a deep dive into various composition techniques, a massive list of infographics and printables for photographers, and for you do-it-yourselfers out there, a great project on building your own diffusion panel for around $30. Finally, this week's discussion topic, I learn what you want from photography. Let's bring it all into focus. F-Stoppers published The Ultimate Guide to Composition Part 1, Just Say Noga. And I think this is a great article to read uh, if, you're, if you've been struggling with composition. It doesn't just, you know, talk about the basics of it. It really goes into theory and technique and uh, they talk about when you can use center composition and give you some really good examples of it, including, including this Wes Anderson video here, uh, which is great. Um, and then, you know, they do touch on the rule of thirds, which is a very common compositional technique. Things like the golden triangles and other lesser known techniques like uh, positioning your elements on diagonals, uh, which really can um, enhance your photograph if you, if you learn to use these different techniques uh, when you're composing a shot. And then, you know, the golden ratio, which is a very common, uh, another very common techni technique uh, for composition, but they go into the theory of of why it becomes aesthetically pleasing and, and where the formula is kind of derived from, which is nice to have if, if, you're, if you've always been interested in how these things are developed. Uh, and then finally, they have some examples of composition and these various compositional techniques used uh, in, in the past. So different ways for the Mona Lisa here, different architecture. Uh, it's definitely worth checking this article out uh, if you have the time. Kind of a, a meaty article, so I definitely suggest blocking off a few minutes to, to give it a good read and, and maybe even bookmark it to come back to it at another time. If composition is something that you've been looking to try to improve, I, it's definitely a highly on my uh, to read list for you. Next one on the reading list is another 15 cheat sheets, principles, and infographics for photographers. Uh, a little while ago, Digital Photography School actually published 15 of the best cheat sheets, printables, and infographics for photographers. And they're continuing on with the success of that by adding another 15 to the list. There are a good amount of infographics here and they're all really useful. I think infographics are a great way to learn and just see things visually um, for those of you who are visual learners. So I, I think it's definitely worth checking out um, the infographics here and then obviously you can save and print any of them for later reference if you wanted to. Uh, again, both of these links will be in the description below so you can browse them. At this week's DIY features a great $30 diffusion panel from DIY Photography. There'll be a link in the description below, but the basic pointers are normal diffusion panels can run close to, if not more than $100, and they've found a very easy way of making your own with just some tape and some uh, canvas stretching boards. Uh, you need a little bit of know-how, but not too much. I think just about anyone can build one of these if they put their mind to it. Uh, so check it out. It's definitely worth doing if you're in the market for a diffusion panel. Finally, the discussion topic for this week is what do you want out of photography and what kind of concepts do you struggle with in your photography? Leave a comment below and I'll try and answer as many as I can in future videos on this channel. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you'd want to see more, click right here to subscribe.